We're gonna be here until the bitter end. And what I know for sure is you can't get lucky if you're not out here. You have to be willing to put in the hard miles to be lucky. Yeah! The season isn't getting longer right now. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, do you have any uh, glassy tips for these conditions? Heads up. Like we can only see, you know, 100 yards. Like eventually we'll be able to see 200. It'll be twice as good. It doesn't look that promising right now. It can really only get better. It can only get better. So Greg, do you have any uh, glassy tips for these conditions? <laughs> Never stop believing. And we've got a full day or so, a whole day until the end of the season. So I'm not feeling any extra pressure now. No, I mean, we've got lots of time. Heaps. In my opinion, there are zero options to do anything but wait. We're here. We're here to the last day, to the last minute, till the buzzer. But if you aren't here to take advantage of the possibility, then you'll never achieve it. And you know, I saw a raven go over earlier and I really got my hopes up. Because normally the ravens, there's something about it, but I think he was probably just getting out of here because he knew the snow was coming. He was going to go find somewhere to hunker. Maybe he was just telling us, guys, you might want to pack it up. We aren't packing it up. We will be the last hunters in the Yukon to shut the season down. I can think of a lot of worse places to be right now. Nice! There is a mountain. I don't know about over there though. Well, the sheep have been at the top third of the mountain and all we can see is the bottom third. And the bottom third that we've got is heavily timbered. So, you know, any spot that is open and, you know, void of trees is probably where I spend most of my time focusing because to actually see them in the timber, you know, they're white cape on white snow. So we have one day left, and we're gonna fight it out to the end. We are gonna fight it out. We're, we're going into round five, and right now, we're behind in the card. But there's no give up, there's no quit. We have one round left. These are the times where it doesn't matter how much you hope. Mother Nature is going to dictate what is gonna happen. If the clouds settle in again tomorrow, there's nothing we can do about it, except for hope and wait. We aren't gonna leave. We're gonna be here until the bitter end. Sure great to wake up this morning and see some sky, see the mountaintops, see some sun coming out, and see some rams. I think that lead ram, he looks legal. Tighter curl to the head, but he looks like he has decent weight. It's really tough to tell. We're lucky that we've picked these guys up as early as we have, really. We're gonna lose them soon, but we're gonna have to get ready to go. This is it. Down to the hour. Let's go. We've kind of formulated a plan, I think, of attack. They're right at the very top of the mountain behind us. And I don't know if you can hear desperation in my voice, <laughs> but we have no time. Yeah, first thing in the morning does not mean 7 a.m. And almost taking time <laughs> to do this right now is time that we don't have. We are 11th hour, last day of the season, and we have a good ram up there. I believe it's a good ram. Yeah. But this is it, this is our play. Overnight, the waves pounding just pushed the boat up so hard that this is like a piano string, so. We're gonna be moving, we're gonna be moving up the mountain. If we're not getting a pile of video, it's because this is the last day of the hunting season and we have to get up and get a good look at these rams in order to get a shot. Otherwise, it's done. Yeah. So, let's get up the mountain. I think we go up this spine right to the very top of the mountain. And as we get, you know, the last third all the time, be glassing up, glassing up. Because yeah, they could funnel right over into here. These rocks are interesting enough in August, but with snow on them, it's another level. Jake, you good? Let's move. 
gonna cut along the top of the ridge, kinda keep our eyes open. Make sure obviously we don't run into something, but once we can see that ridge that they were on, just pick it apart one foot at a time till we see them. And then once we get up top, if they haven't come over, then pick the country apart. Ready with our binos, glassing as we go. Wind is in our favor, yeah. sun is at our back, conditions are perfect. Yeah. If we get up there and that's a legal ram and we don't make it happen, there's no one to blame but us. Okay, well we know how to do it. How much time we got left? Well, we've got four hours in the whole season, so <laughs> let's, let's not talk too long. Lots of time. <laughs> That ram is a good ram. He's a good old ram. Broomed off, both sides, legal, by length. He's good, eh? He's good, yeah. Okay, let's not be up here too long. We know he's good, we know he's where he is. He's bedded down, he's just to the left of that pinnacle rock. How far we're gonna have to go back in order to get around. I don't know if we have to literally go up over top of that mountain there to do it. This connects up with the ridge that they're on. Okay. I wasn't sure from back there. We're definitely not gonna have to drop down if we can stay on this side and come back up over top of them onto that knob. Yeah. So we gotta go down and around. I think once we get to the top there, we'll be able to see down and there'll be 200 yards or less, give or take. We're gonna drop our backs before we get there. Just pick our way up. right down on top of them. Almost, potentially almost too close. Wow. One word. Oh, congratulations. We got, we got a couple hours left in the season. October 31st. <laughs> we, we left lots of spare, spare time. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Yeah. We have no time in the season. Season is over. Yes. This is the end of the season. And we just made this happen. That's just it. Do not quit. Quick. to the bitter end and this is the bitter end the bitter end here is sweet yes. just being here and watching that ram go down is every bit as good as pulling the trigger this is a team and it's a complete team effort and it does not matter who squeezes that last two pounds yeah. I, I love being there next to you when it goes down watching it go down and absolutely to everybody's ram and these chunks really that's character. Oh, her spectacular. This is an awesome chunk. What I know for sure is you can't get lucky if you're not out here. You have to be willing to put in the hard miles to be lucky. This is how our sheep hunts went. <laughs> Opening day, closing day. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, closing hours, closing hours. I mean, one way or the other, if it hadn't worked out, you know, we would have gone home with no regrets. We knew that we'd pushed it to the end of the season. We toughed it out and that's a victory in itself. Yeah. But, you know, to, to come up here and get this ram today is is obviously icing on the cake. Yeah. And we can we can go home and, and put our feet up here for for a couple months anyway through the winter time and, and look back and say, yeah, we, we were there on the first day. We were there on the last day. You know, we knew the we knew the season was going to be coming to an end, and that the sun was going to set on that final day. And as we as we look at this beautiful ram, we've got the sun 
dropping out of the sky. <laughs> that side of you that says, oh, you know, it'll be nice just to sit on the couch, put your feet up and spend time with the family. And you look forward to that. But now sitting on the top of this mountain at the same time as how great that's gonna be tomorrow or a couple days from now when we actually get home, it's the end of the season. And that's the bitter part is, you know, for me, I just don't want it to end, but uh, all good things must come to an end. And this season has to end somewhere. And I don't believe that it could end any better than the way that it just did.